So all the technology and the workstations are really just the tools. The human element is at the center of everything we do. Grateful for the care that he received, the late philanthropist Paul G. Allen bequested a $20 million gift to Swedish. When the gift was provided, um, the really the, the only charge that was given was to improve the experience and outcome of every patient. And the way that you improve the experience and outcome of every patient is by really focusing on research that's oriented towards clinical care. The Allen Research Center has three overarching pillars, cancer prevention and early detection, understanding the genesis of cancers, and driving the innovation of immunotherapies. The Allen Research Center funds next generation research that will change how we treat and care for patients. All of our scientists are physicians first. They all see patients. And that gives them a very valuable bedside view and they bring those challenges and those questions to this laboratory. The thing that motivates me every day is that I, I, I have the ability or the possibility with patients to change the course, to prevent a cancer from occurring in the first place. My uh, field of research is a little bit new to medicine, cancer, and science. I focus on how we can use the information written in our DNA, and we try to find something in the person's DNA that says this is the common thread in the family, this is the explanation for all of these cancers. And then the downstream of that is, can we use novel technologies to advance detection and inform what we do for treatment? I want to detect cancer early, I want to prevent it if I can, and I want to get people their lives back. When people stop responding to treatment, we need to have some idea as to why. We do treat patients with CAR T-cell therapy, uh, which is a new type of immunotherapy that's now being used regularly. But what can happen sometimes is that patients may respond initially and then they stop responding. Or some patients will have fantastic long-term responses while others don't. And access to a, an active wet lab becomes very important. We're very much trying to answer new questions as they arise so that our current patients can have the best possible outcomes. Paul's challenge of improving the experience and outcome of every patient. The patients are at the center of what we do. My whole journey in, in this process began as an active duty service member uh, and I was diagnosed with a sarcoma uh, in my mid-20s. And, you know, when I was diagnosed, um, the number of therapies were very, very limited. I actually found a medical dictionary and I remember it like it was yesterday. It was like one sentence and it said a soft tissue malignancy normally fatal. And that was it. That was all I had. We don't do research on diseases. We do research to help people. I don't know how people did this job 40 years ago. It must have been heartbreaking every day. But what I see is a lot of hope and excitement every day and we still haven't cracked the code.